Well, you did an interview with Colin. Is that Colin? That's not Colin. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's got it. It's Omar Waddell. I, I didn't see. I didn't see what fight we're at. So this is Omar coming into the cage, being inspected by uh, Steve Rita. I just looked Omar Waddell up on Facebook. His nickname is Coco Loco. Coco I like Loco. it. Coco Loco. That's what he's being called for the rest of the evening, Coco Loco. Yeah, he's no more Omar Waddell. It's Coco Loco. And then I talked to Colin Madison in an interview on Carol's Corner MMA podcast. And uh, he's a very mentally focused guy. He's coming from uh, Canada. He, he's, he's, he wants to present himself and be able to show everyone he, what he's capable of. As uh, Omar is 2-0, uh, and so he's looking to protect that undefeated record. And coming from, you know, more of a traditional striking background and striking background in general, I'm looking forward to see this young man fight because he lists himself as a Muay Thai fighter right on his Facebook bio. He comes in the Muay Thai shorts. He's 2-0, and so I'm expecting him to bang. Oh, 100%. I love One I Force Trauma. It's my favorite. <laughs> see Colin Madison coming out with the face mask over. He looks like he's from uh, Mexico, cartel, ready to run up on someone. Bop, bop, bop. He's coming out with Alex Synthropath and the gang. Again, another good group of athletes, another good quality school. It's the apex. As we're still going to try and get Ed Kinner, the executive director of the USMTA over here, try and clarify what, what the hell went on before. And we got the former heavyweight Cage Wars champ in the stands, Alex Morrow. With I love his hat. How, how sweet I is dig that? it. You know what? Yeah. That would fit my melon. I would try to wear one I like that. I couldn't pull that off. I couldn't either. No, I look like an idiot, but he pulls it off. He looks like he's from the Bronx Tale, like you said earlier. Yeah, Bronx Tale, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Remember when they're like kids and they all get their hats on? That's what he looks like. Steve Rita checks Madison, and Madison's climbing into the cage. Very calm now, and like well-spoken uh, guy. Like another was, guy who's got some striking shorts yeah, on. Yep, he's a striker. <clears throat> Very colorful striking shorts. Yeah, he's a little throwback to the '80s. Oh, this is sweet looking. Yeah, a little lion. And we're gonna throw this up to the uh, ring announce, Mike Falvo. The following contest is scheduled for three rounds. It is in our welterweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Diamond Fitness from Ontario, Canada. He has a fight record of two wins, zero losses. He is known as Coco Loco. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Waddell. And his opponent on the other side of the cage, fighting out of the red corner, representing Apex Combat Sports out of Owego, New York. He has a fight record of two wins and one loss. He is known as the Ghost Walker, Colin Madison. Two big guys. Two very big so guys. Right now, ladies and, and gentlemen, we got Coco Loco and Ghost bells, Walker in Mr. there. Alexius Phoenix. Here we go, Alexius I definitely Phoenix. say that Coco Loco wins the nickname more. I agree 100%. Sounds like someone from Breaking Bad. Both big guys in there. And this 170-pound uh, <coughs> welterweight matchup. I'm 250, and they look as big as oh, I am. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, they look as big as I am. over that. <laughs> oh, you biscuits. They're, and they're buttered. <laughs> those, those biscuits are buttered. <laughs> Here we go. 
Both Two guys very composed. Yeah, both strikers. This trying to feel matchup. each other out a little bit. If you notice, Ghost Walker leaves his hands down. Oh, Coco Loco, though, goes for the takedown. Coco Loco, the Muay Thai fighter, going for the takedown. Interesting. <clears throat> Ooh, nice knee. Snuck that in there. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. That left knee is tracking right up to the inside of the groin. He's got double unders. Ghost Walker's trying to turn. Nice. Triple! Oh. Oh. oh! But he rolled through. A trip far. to a reversal. Great These throw. guys are strikers, I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. But here they are grappling. True mixed martial artist. You got to love it. And this is uh, advanced amateur rules, so you are allowed to strike to the head. Which completely see. changes the landscape of the sport. Yeah, Coco Loco is on full mount right now, putting some hammers down on Colin Madison. But the Ghost Walker's nice and calm. Yeah, he is. That and was it, a heck of a toss. And if you notice, he's not doing what some of the other athletes did earlier. He's not just laying there. No. He's not just laying there. He's trying to move. He's trying to create an angle. He's trying to buck the hips. He's trying to control Omar's hands. Big straights right there from the top. Those hurt when they're raining down like that in that position. And conversely, Omar's doing a great job sitting on the hips, keeping the, keeping the center of gravity down on him. You hear Omar's corner screaming, yes, they're happy with what's going on right now, and I understand why. That arm bar is there if he decides to take it. Yeah, there's a lot going on oh, right now. Oh, now he, he did a good job. Good Ghost Walker did a good Madison. job, though, pulling it back to half guard. Madison's doing a good job with the hand control as he's holding that left hand, uh, right. I thought yeah, you said we're only using their nicknames. Oh, my apology. Ghost, Ghost Walker. Walker. You'll have to call me Nighthawk. <laughs> All right, nice reversal. Now Omar's on his back. Let's see what happens here now that the roles are reversed. <clears throat> As Ghost Walker, like you said, is on top, but uh, looks like he's trying to fight through hand control. Now he's oh, nice job by Omar, waiting to, waiting to have some separation to stand up. Great job feeling the pressure. <clears throat> back up to our feet. Ghost Walker's back against the cage. But he's still calm, he's composed. He's using his head. This is a good technical battle right now. Very good. The great clinch game right here. Excellent matchup by the matchmaker. You know what's great? We got these athletes coming in from Canada all over the place, Pennsylvania, because it's such such great venue, just such, such great competition yeah. and a great show. You know, Cage Wars really takes care of their athletes. Oh, 100%, talking to the champ <laughs> last night, he said he skipped a bunch of other shows just to come here. You know, if you're an amateur fighter, how many amateur shows put you up in a beautiful hotel for two nights? Not many. But an excellent takedown right there, the single leg takedown. Take top control in a north-south position by uh, Less than Ghost 10 Walker. seconds, though, so there's probably not much he's going to do with it. Interesting first round to score. That is, wow. That, Good to me, is round. pretty close. I mean. I got to clap for that. Uh, I would, I'd give that to Omar just slightly. Who? Bill McKee, what's going on, brother? Who are you giving that round to? That's an interesting one, it really is. I'm gonna have to give it to the Ghost Walker. I think he just did a little bit more. I don't know, see that's tough because uh, um, I almost called him Knight Rider, but uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, Coco Loco was on top throwing a lot of strikes down. So He, he was, and he was trying to control the cage. You know, That's he a was, coin toss, man. I'm just, yeah. I don't know where to go with that. I really don't. I think that's one of the first times we've actually disagreed. Yeah. That, that's when you know it's close. Yeah. It, Touche. Corners out. Round two, ready to start. Round two, here we go. Mr. Alexius Phoenix. Coco Loco gets, bounces right back up. Yeah, but Coco Loco's breathing pretty heavy. Yeah, he really is. He looks like he's uh, taking a big deep breath. Ooh, usa, usa. Here we Good go. Frama. Ghost Walker meets him in the middle. There's a little wow. wow, nice question mark kick. That Almost lands. You don't see that much at this level. No, that's a great kick. Often seen in Kyokushin Karate as well as some other striking styles. Once again, uh, Coco Loco catches the kick to the side. Nice front kick into the, into the roundhouse. Oh, man, kicks are my favorite. I love this. Yeah, here's the Muay Thai striking that we expected from all, both of these fighters. And now if you notice, Omar looks like he wants to get back in for a takedown. He looks tired. He's tired. Right? Yeah, he looks shot. He worked too hard earlier trying to get that takedown that he got tossed. Oh, wow. If he landed on that one, though, it could have been bad. Ghost Walker definitely looks fresher of the two. Oh, absolutely. 
They looked like they just high-fived each other in the middle of the cage. That's like almost the Diaz thing, you know, where they come out and touch. There's not much power, though, right now on Waddle's uh, punches. When he's swinging out real wide like that, at least it doesn't look like it appear to be. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, you know, it's definitely not the, the, the most clean striking, but if you get hit flush with anything like that, it's certainly not going to feel good. Take down for Waddle right there, who, a.k.a. the Coco Loco. Ghost Walker's got him in half guard. He's got the overhook on the right arm. He's going to try to look for a sweep or, or some sort of a transition. Yeah, good control with the, using the overhook right there for Ghost Walker. And now some folks at home may say, why don't they go back to close guard? The close guard is very difficult to make things happen in. And right now, uh, uh, Colin Madison is, wants to make things happen. So yeah. he's okay being in half guard. 100%. I feel like we're... We're watching like a Mortal Kombat game with these names, Coco Loco and uh, Ghost Walker. Yeah, that or <laughs> yeah, that or Breaking Bad meets Step Brothers. <laughs> Get your geriatric Duco. hand off my mother. Alexis Alexia Phoenix, Phoenix stands, stands him up. Back up. That's good a good. Decision. That's a good stand up. Yeah, you know, I'm not a fan of that, as you know. But I like that decision to stand them up. Well, and he gave him, right He talked to them and said, "Keep working." You know, he gave him that opportunity. Waddle landed a left, but it didn't phase uh, the Ghost Walker too much. Ghost Walker looks like he's trying to pick his time. He he smells a little bit of blood in the water. I don't know if he caught, got caught with that right right there. Oh, nice body kick. Waddle's you know, definitely breathing heavy. Here's the thing, though, with, with, with a good striker, one punch can change everything. Oh, definitely. So let's not count Omar Waddell out right now. You know, wow, he, nice right hand. Yeah, he, wow. he was stunned. Oh. I suppose he didn't put the pressure up after landing that. My cheek hurts. Waddle landed a left of his own right after. Ten seconds left. Interesting. Nice job. I definitely give that round to Mr. Ghost Walker there. Yeah, I would agree with that one as well. Ghost Walker did tell me in the interview with him that he is a big kicker. That's what he loves to do. He, he likes grappling and... It's not I, his forte, I think I think he and I just became best friends. We've yeah, never even met. He loves throwing kicks. That's what he was telling so, me. I mean, so. I never met this guy. I like him. Let me tell you, that question mark kick was that beautiful. was perfect for that. If that landed, that would have been the that would have been the highlight of the last night. time I saw that land in person was when Shell John Davis did it in Saratoga, probably about seven years ago, and his opponent had to be transported via ambulance to Albany Memorial or Albany Medical Center. He was out the entire time. It's that powerful. And that dangerous if, dangerous if landed flush. Wow. Wow. I thought he was dead. I was cornering Sheljan. I thought he was dead. Thought he was dead. Did you take his shoes and wallet? No, man. It was bad. It was, was, it was that bad? Yeah. I mean, there was a moment of silence. I mean, when that kick is you landed. You want to see that. Yeah, when that kick is landed, it's devastating. Here we go. Round two. Round three, actually. My Absolutely. Apologies. Last one. Omar actually looks fresher right now than he did in that second round. Yeah, maybe he just had to catch that second wind, and here we go. He definitely looks a lot fresher. He, he looked a little, like, wobbly in the second round. Ghost Walker, though, looks like he's ready to make something happen. You know, he's almost finding that rhythm. Maybe a head kick right here, something that will stun someone. Someone from the crowd yell, come on, Colin. AKA Ghost Walker. You know, and if you notice, Omar's standing pretty square to, to Colin, which is why Colin has been using those front kicks pretty effectively through the whole fight. But yeah, there's a lot more uh, body to hit when you're throwing those. And you mentioned the arm or the punches being a little bit more arm punches. When you're squared up like that, biomechanically, you can't produce that rotational power yeah. to send to your opponent. So that could also be why his power is a little bit depleted. He's landed some shots on the Ghost Walker, but they just ha they didn't seem like they have much power behind Yeah, there's him. not a ton of, of oomph on him. And if you, now you look, Omar's kind of negated, like kind of went away from the kicking. He's thinking either grappling or punching. Oh, all right, I take that back. He must have been listening. Oh, nice combo right there by the Ghost Walker. Ghost wow! Ghost Walker's definitely finding some rhythm. As we lost power, Johnson. Great action right now. Son of a bitch. We're not on. Battery's out. Yeah. 
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that, a little technical difficulties. The battery died real quick, but we're back, and what a wow! fire round! Holy moly. These guys are just thrown for the fences right now. A big shot right there by Waddle. Wow. Allen just keeps answering. What a third round. Holy crap. Less than a minute. Ghost Walker, Ghost Walker is still claiming the center of the octagon, though. Yeah, just keeps pushing forward. A head kick right now would be quite entertaining by one of them. I don't know if Omar's got that in him right now. Yeah, I don't think so either, but... Especially because his opponent's that much taller. Great show. Right up oh, next to him. Oh! They're going for the oh, fences Lord. right here. Nice knee, Ghost Walker. Wow! He's a shot to the body and keeps going. Oh, nice job Ten by seconds. Omar fighting out of that. Oh, Another overhand right. right. Hand. Wow, what a third round. Ghost Walker feels it, but there's not, is there going to be enough time? Oh, that's it. Great wow. fight. Holy Great moly. fight. These two guys just left everything in there. What a fight. That third Great round job. tops the cake for cards I've seen in a long time. Great job. I got to give it to Mr. Ghost Walker, two to one. Yeah, I would agree 100%. I don't know. It could be a three, three nothing sweep. I don't know. Nah, you you know, say. I think that somebody is going to find that first round. Somebody's going to find that first round potentially for Omar. Yeah, I, I can see that. But, uh, you know, interesting. Hey, great fight between these two. That third round was phenomenal. It really the was. The action back and forth was insane. As we still want to get the uh, executive director of the USMTA over here kind of talk about this uh, Nate Austin thing earlier. It's that cord. We don't have another cord. Excellent fight by both these fighters. Hey, Ron, you able to turn it down, that hair? Turn that down? Wrong way. I think he turned the mics off, but, oh, no, here we go. Yeah, keep going up. Is that better? Can you hear me? It's faint. There we go. There we go, perfect. Thanks, man. He wants, he wants you guys. He wants you guys to know that that thing's on the air all the time. Air mics. Cool. I, I, I'm Will. How do you, how do you see this? I, I, I give it fight. two two to two to one for Mr. Ghostwalker. Well, yeah. Think, huh? I, I was hoping to see that uh, question mark kick land. I know. Yeah, Absolutely. Third, Good third job, round brother. was one of the best rounds I've ever seen in the amateur in this area anywhere. Congrats, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. Judge Mike Walter scores the fight 30 to 27 for Madison. Judge Nels Larson scores the fight 29-28 Waddell. And Judge Eric Komar scores the fight 29-28 for your winner. By majority decision out of the blue corner, Omar Waddell. Yeah. I I'm shocked too and I, I don't necessarily say I can agree with it. You know, they're both yeah, talented I athletes. And I, and I think even Omar is a little bit surprised at this point. I, I'm blown away by that decision. I really am. You know, but that's what they always say. And that's what, you know, we've always said is don't let it go to the judges. Wow. Cage Wars 42. Tickets go on sale tonight at midnight. You can get yours at riverscasinoandresort.com or the Proctor's box office.